Hi friends, you are welcome back to another interesting question. We are asked to calculate the area of the cyclic quadrilateral, that is this here. We have the length of this code to be 30 units. Here we see this line segment AB and this PF are congruent as their lengths are A each. From here, it is given the line BD is 32 units in length and line AE is a diameter. So how can we solve this? How can we calculate the area of the cyclic quadrilateral? It is very simple. We start from this code AF. We see this line BD bisect it at right angle. Now from the circle theory, we know if a perpendicular is dropped to a code from the center, it bisects the code. So from that, rest assured, this line BD passes through the center of the cycle. Well, where? Recall this line AE is a diameter and definitely a diameter will surely pass through the center. There is only one center, therefore the point where the two lines meet is a center, that is this here, call it O. Now this line BD, we extend it down to touch the circumference of the cycle, call this point P, considering line DP, since it passes through point O, which is the center, it is a diameter. Recall this segment, its length is given here to be 32 units. So letting this be V, V plus 32 equal to D. D is a diameter, take 32 to the right. So V equal to D minus 32. Now back here, we see this code intersect this at this point. From the cycle theory, there is the intersecting codes theorem, which states that if two codes of the same cycle intersect at a point, the product of their segments are equal. So here, the product of this A and this equals the product of this V and the length of this which is 32 units. So A times A equal to V times 32. A times A is A squared. V we have it here to be D minus 32. Put it here. D minus 32 times 32 is 32 D minus 1024. So A squared equal to 32d minus 1024. We keep this equation aside. Come back to this line AE. It is a diameter. And we see it subtend this angle to the circumference of the cycle. We know the angle subtended by a diameter to the circumference of its cycle is a right angle. So this angle here is a right angle. Look at this triangle. It is a right angle triangle. The diameter is its halfness. This side is 30 units in length. If we let this be E, we can use the Pythagorean theorem, which states that the square of the length of the halfness of a right angle triangle is equal to the sum of the squares of the length of the two other sides. The halfness is the side facing the right angle, which is this here. So by Pythagoras, d squared equal to e squared plus 30 squared. 30 squared is 900. So d squared equal to e squared plus 900. We also keep this aside. Look at this triangle also. 
it is a right angle triangle as well we use a Pythagorean theorem on it this is the happiness so the square of its length equals the square of this a and that of the length of this side which is 32 units so e squared equal to a squared plus 32 squared 32 squared is 1024 so e squared equal to a squared plus 1024 recall here a squared equal to 32d minus 1024 Replace this a squared with 32d minus 1024. Minus 1024 plus 1024 is 0. So e squared equal to 32d. Come here, substitute it. So d squared equal to 32d plus 900. Bring 32d plus 900 to the left. So d squared minus 32d minus 900 equal to 0. This is a quadratic equation. We can solve by factorization. This minus 32 can be written as plus 18d minus 50d. From d squared plus 18d, if we factor out d, it is d into bracket d plus 18. While here, minus 50d minus 900 if we factor out minus 50 it is minus 50 into bracket d plus 18 from here d plus 18 is common we factor it out so it is d plus 18 multiplied by d minus 15 which equal to 0 therefore d plus 18 equal to 0 or d minus 50 equal to 0 Make d the subject, d equal to 15, or d equal to 50. d is the diameter of this cycle. It can't be negative. We discard this. Therefore, d equal to 50 unit. That is, the diameter of this cycle is 50 unit. Come back to this equation. Substitute the value of d. 50 squared is 2500 so 2500 equal to e squared plus 900 take 900 to the left hand side of the equation 2500 minus 900 is 1600 take the square root of both sides of the equation here square root of e squared is e while he square root of 1600 is 40 so e equal to 40 that is the length of this side is 40 come here also substitute the value of d 32 times 50 is 1600 1600 minus 1024 is 576 take the square root of both sides of the equation here square root of a squared is a while he square root of 576 is 24 so a equal to 24 that is the length of these sides are 24 each now here we see this angle is subtended by this line ae which is a diameter of the circle to the circumference that means it is an angle of a semicircle which is a right angle we look at this triangle it is a right angle triangle we use the Pythagorean theorem on it this is the hapsness it is a diameter of the cycle which is 50 units if you assume the length of this side to be x by Pythagoras 50 squared equal to x squared plus 24 plus 24 all squared 50 squared is 2500 24 plus 24 is 48 48 squared is 2304 take 2304 to the right 2500 minus 2304 is 196 
Now take the square root of both sides of the equation. Here, square root of x squared is x, while here, square root of 496 is 14. So x equal to 14. That is, the length of this side is 14 units. Now to calculate the area of the cyclic quadrilateral, we can use the Brahmagupta's formula by which for any cyclic quadrilateral with length A, B, C and D, area equal to square root of S minus A times S minus B times S minus C times S minus D, where S equal to semi-perimeter. So here, if we let this side be A, this B, here C, and this D, A equal to 40, B equal to 30, C equal to 14, and D equal to 24 plus 24, which is 48. Put it here, 40 plus 30 plus 14 plus 48 is 132. 132 over 2 is 66, so S equal to 66. Now substitute these values here. So area of quadrilateral ADEF equal to square root of 66 minus 40 times 66 minus 30 times 66 minus 14 times 66 minus 48. 66 minus 40 is 26. 66 minus 30 is 36. 66 minus 14 is 52, 66 minus 48 is 18, 26 times 36 times 52 times 18 is 876,096, square root of 876,096 is 936, so area of cyclic quadrilateral equal to 936 square units. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe and also turn on notifications. Thank you.